If we are not prepared as yet, you should definitely get so prepared because we are now entering the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season. At this time, between mid-August and late October, we tend to watch uh, from anywhere from uh, the Cape Verde Islands, across the Caribbean and up towards the East United States for any tropical cyclone development. But right now, we have the tropical storm at Josephine, which is set to pass towards the north of the islands. It will still likely bring a few showers around, particularly around the US Virgin Islands, maybe towards Antigua, could be seeing maybe 25 50 millimeters of rainfall here and some thunder showers but most of the impacts will actually be well out to sea and it will likely begin to weaken as it enters uh, the north of the island chain we could be seeing uh, some southwesterly shear there obviously adding to the possibility of this system weakening further possibly becoming a depression as it goes through the weekend and then eventually push towards the north finding a weakness in the subtropical ridge and eventually pushing towards the northeast once it gets further towards the north, getting pushed in by those mid-latitude westerlies. So right now across Trinidad and Tobago, all we have had is some weak instability caused by the passage of a Josephine well out to sea, posing no direct threat, but we have been seeing a few pockets of cloudiness here and there. And also the lighter winds have allowed the daytime heating to spark some of those showers. And those conditions will likely exist as you go through your Saturday, but there will be some Saharan dust as well, a bit of haze as well pushing in. So we could be seeing some hazy conditions on Sunday. And then yet another tropical wave will arrive on Monday and Tuesday, bringing us some showers and some heavier downpours by early next week. But right now across Trinidad and Tobago, for Tobago tonight, partly cloudy skies, fair skies, fair conditions for the most part, just those brief showers as you go through your Saturday morning and into the afternoon. And again, there's a low chance of a thunder shower. So we should be seeing a mostly settled weather through Saturday. Across Tobago tonight, also mostly fair, just those brief showers across the northern range, usual for this time of the year. And as you go through your Saturday morning, a mixture of sunshine and showers, especially from mid-morning into the early part of your afternoon. And for central and southern areas of Trinidad as well, the daytime heating will spark a few showers. As I said, only the low chance of a thunderstorm erupting here. So as you go about your business on Saturday, you may need the umbrella, but not necessarily expecting any of those thundery downpours. Temperature-wise, tonight's low, 24 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 25 in Tobago. Tomorrow's high, 33 in Trinidad, 32 in Tobago. And it will likely remain warm across Tobago through Sunday. And then that tropical wave arrives on Monday, bringing the extra moisture and instability. Thunder showers are likely. Some heavy showers are expected as well, especially around Trinidad. So don't be surprised if you get some gusty winds or street of flash flooding through Monday and Tuesday. Heading offshore, the winds still remain gentle southeasterly at 10 knots. That's because Josephine is disrupting our wind pattern. That is allowing only for moderate choppy seas, one and a half, maybe getting up to two meters offshore. And east northeasterly swells of eight seconds will greet boaters and bathers as you go through your Saturday. Across the Greater Antilles, they've been seeing a mostly settled weather. It's also been feeling quite hot, especially around Haiti. 34 degrees Celsius likely for port au prince 33 for Santo Domingo. 32 for Kingston, just a few localized showers are coming through here. And for the Lesser Antilles, the Leeward Islands will still see some showers coming out of a Josephine, but no direct impacts are expected from that system as it should pass well towards the north. Meanwhile, for the Southern Lesser Antilles, the Windward Islands, just occasional brief showers here. And for Georgetown, partly sunny and a high of 33 degrees Celsius on Saturday. So that's your forecast and that's it for me.